joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. Of what you promised not to come to pass, that heaven and earth will cease to exist. You opened your mouth, Shukoki Kapiyama, to bless mankind to the coming of your Yeshua. Who came here and said, Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven? Those words can never be in vain because they are anchored upon your holiness and your magnificence. That is why, in the end, we know that Biafra will come. That these children that we have given birth to all over the world and their children and their children and their children as long as they give birth to them and they are their friends they will worship you in truth and honesty through this very work we are doing mankind will come to understand you let your miracle be wrought in our lives. Let us witness and behold your magnificence, your holiness, your mystery, and your grace. Under our command, O oh Lord of hosts, we call upon you. We call upon you to heal. We call upon you to provide succor to those of them who are inconsolable. We ask you to come and strengthen those who are weak. We ask you to restore hope where there is hopelessness. We ask you for inclusion where there is destitution. We ask you for one brotherhood, one camaraderie, one bone, one blood, and one flesh of your children. The Efix and the Bibios, the Ison, the Shekiri, the Isobos, and also those of them from Israel. We are traveling all the way to the lands of Egala. We are moving on from there to Idoma, to Igede, to the territories of the Igbo land. All these places we dedicate unto thee. All these lands of yours, we ask you to cover it with your mercy. Because Ephra will come and when it does, Chukukikabia we will dance on the streets, I'm telling you. By the time that we are born, humanity will think that we are mad. We are drunk in your glory, and rightfully so. Because your kingdom will come to rest upon this very earth. That very kingdom is the unadulterated, non-negotiable sovereignty of the Republic of Biafra. That your will may be fulfilled in our time. All this we pray. All these we ask for in no other name apart from that name that belongs to you. I had a sosine be a be one be he said he said Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this program today. I appreciate everyone that has connected to this very program wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining from Biafra land, from Asia, from Europe, from America, from Australia, from Canada, from New Zealand, from Russia, from China, whichever part of the country you are joining from, I appreciate you and I welcome you to this very program. Thank you so much for joining. I welcome Ma for Monday. Thank you so much for joining Ma for Monday. Blessed OG, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. Blessy, my dear, thank you so much for joining. Blessy, baby, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you for your support. I appreciate you for your support and for all that you are doing behind there. Thank you so much for joining. Blessy, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone that has connected, both those that are commenting and those that are not commenting. I appreciate everyone of you. Immaculate eBay, thank you so much for joining. Immaculate Ebo. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate everyone that is connecting, those that are writing, those that are not commenting. I thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you for being here with me today. And today, as usual, we will continue to do that which is the needful. We have come back once again. As you all know, this is an autopiloted platform. Autopiloted in the hand of Chukwokuka Biyama. 
under the Biafra Republic government in exile and under the control of our Prime Minister Mazi Simon Epa and on the leadership of Mazi Nande Kanu, that is where we stand. Speaking the truth at all times, setting the record straight and letting the world know that which they need to know. Thank you so much for joining, Emma. I appreciate you for joining wherever you are connected. With. Please, as you connect to this program, kindly share the program to your platform. Share it in one WhatsApp group. Every one of us that has connected now should please share to a platform, share to a WhatsApp group. It is very difficult for us to reach out to people because of the restrictions that we have. We have a lot of restrictions. We can't be able to reach the number of people that we are reaching always. We can't be able to reach and people are not getting our notification. So many people are worried that we are coming online and they are not aware. The only way we can be able to break those bounds is by your help, by your support. So please, wherever you are connecting from, kindly share this program to one platform. Share it to one platform. Share to family and friends, even our enemy. Share to them so that they can come and hear us out. I appreciate everyone that have come to join the program today. I thank you so much, and we are going to kick it off. When you look at the topic that I chose the I said it's a moment of reflection. Moment of reflection. We are still talking about the remembrance of our heroes. Remembrance of our heroes, it still continues. It is something that is very close to our heart and something that we must not joke with. That is why it is important that we talk about it again and again and again. This is a memory that is in the heart of every Biafran, except you are not genuinely a Biafran. If you are genuinely a Biafran, this is one of the things that has to be in your heart that you can never forget. Just like yesterday we said, we cannot forget. Neither are we going to forgive. Forgiveness is the hand of Shukuku Kabiyama, not we. This is something that is close to our heart. And we keep on remembering because what transpired and what happened in the Biafra Civil War affect every one of us. The intimidation, the attack, and the things that is happening to Biafra is happening to every single one of us. We are a Patakia, including those who are pretending that it is not affecting them. It is affecting them in one way or the other. It doesn't matter how long they pretend. It doesn't matter how long they stay away from it. It will continue to hunt them down. Let me tell you, it is not only us that are coming online on the liberties to talk that are concerned. It is not only those in IPOB that are feeling the heat. It is not only us that are crying on daily basis that are the ones that are being persecuted. Every single Biafran, regardless your religion, regardless your location, regardless your tribe, no matter where you are, you are getting your own share of the punishment from the zoo. Some people feel that they are on a better stage. And for that, they don't want to talk about Biafra. Some feel they are enjoying something a little better. And for that, they don't want to talk about the issue. But let me tell you, everyone is going to partake. Is already partaking on this very dehumanization and destruction of the Biafran people. If you are a Biafran and you have not woken up to listen to the voice of reason, I don't know when you are going to wake up. The moment of reflection, you cannot have any moment of reflection more than this one that we are in now. You cannot have any moment of reflection more than the one that we are having now at this hero's day. A time that you must reflect. This hero's day celebration is so important and so reflective that a lot of things have already transpired. There is, there is no reason why today you will say you cannot join your own brothers to fight for independence. There are no more reasons that you can say, because of this, let me stay back. Because of this, I won't believe. There are more more proof. You know, sometimes you see people begin to ask you, are you the only one affected? What is the proof? What is this? What is that? It has become very, very clear and evidence that you have no place in the contraption called Nigeria. They just concluded the election and their useless inauguration has now confirmed every single thing we have been saying again and again and again. Our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekanu came up with this message and people called him names. They called him a man of names. Some called him a troublemaker. They called him a terrorist. 
they call him a trapper bigot. There is no amount of name they ever call Mazen Nanaka. They call him a froster. Nobody listened to him. Even when he went to the United States to beg the Pierre France over there to sit up and prepare for what is coming. Nobody listened. Nobody paid attention. But today, can you believe that today, at this hero's day, people are remembering Mazen Nandekano's words? That is how human beings are. And I want to tell you, it is enough. We have to stop celebrating our heroes when they are gone. We must learn to celebrate our heroes when they are with us and listen to them while they are with us. We had every opportunity to make difference while Mazen Nanekano was with us, but nobody paid attention. We took him for a ride. We called him names. We even planned against him. We fought him. People went up to the extent of betraying him and selling him out. The same reason why they sold Mazen Nandekano, which is the Igbo presidency that we knew from the onset, is an impossible mission. Mazen Nandekano said it clear. And every one of us that are genuinely following Mazen Nandekano looked through it and we saw that Igbo presidency is a fraud. Mazen Nandekano made it clear. He is not going for any presidency of any kind, not for any resource control. What he wants is outright independent through a referendum outright independent through a referendum for Bia France to be able to express themselves and decide, make choice what they want for themselves. This was what Mazen Nanikano was pursuing. And his own people, who he is fighting for, came together, betrayed him and sold him out. Moment of reflection. How long shall we continue on this betrayal? Today, our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano is in the territory of the enemy, in solitary confinements because of you and I. And today, as we are remembering the heroes, you are remembering Mazen Nandekano. Go to so many platforms. People that have castigated Mazen Nandekano, people who don't want to see him alive today, you go to their platform. They pretend to love Mazen Nandekano. All of a sudden, some of them woke up and they are now mentioning Mazen Nandekano again. What a shame. These were the same people who were there, who claimed to be with Mazen Nandekano. And Mazen Nandekano gave instruction that no Biafra must participate in anything called election because it is not for us, it is for them. They disobeyed that order given by Mazen Nandekano. Our Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile reminded us of that very word that Mazen Nandekano spoke. Reminded us and told us, look at the order that Mazen Nandekano gave outright instruction from Mazen Nandekano even before he was kidnapped. Mazen Nandekano said it. We will not be part of the zoo. That in fact, before the end of change of hand, that we are going to get out of the zoo. This 2023, the going out of the Zulu Republic in 2023 have been spoken about long ago by Mazen Nandekano. But nobody paid attention. The only man who was still holding on the words of Mazen Nandekan is his disciple and continue to pursue that agenda. Holding that legacy, make sure that he's not betrayed. Our Prime Minister told us, we began the campaign, do not get involved in the election. It is not for you. We were telling the Oharese Nibo, the election propaganda is a fraud. They will never allow you to have the presidency. We spoke and spoke. Do not participate. Don't legitimize it. They called us name. They went to the extent of issuing a bounty on the head of their own son who was trying to protect them. Today, what is happening? To see how inconsistent some of them are. Do you remember that one of them even came on live TV and he said that if they refuse to give them the Igbo presidency, that they have no option than to focus on Biafra. Today, where are they? Where are they? Moment of reflection. Someone came out on a video that every one of us saw. I wish I could be able to play the video. Maybe one of these days I will start playing videos. Came out and said that if they do not give us, they do not, they do not give, if they don't, not us, if they don't give them, the Igbo presidency, that they have no option because I'm not going to say they don't give us because we are not part of it. Right from time, 
right from the onset we have never ever been part of anything called election and we will not be Mazen Nandekano made it clear. And those of us who are following Mazen Nandekano with our Prime Minister of the Federal Republic Government in exile, we are not part of anything called election. But these people who wanted to take another option, they said they want to, wanted a different dimension, that we are not doing it well. That Mazen Nandekano is taking a strict dimension. They, told, they talked about their what, what, uh, political solution or whatever. They said, if you don't give us, if you don't give them their so-called Igbo presidency, that they have no option than to pursue Biafra. Every single one of them made that statement. Elderly men with gray hair who are respected. Where are they today? Every one of them is still hiding. Hiding in shame. They have lost their word. They have lost confidence in themselves. To show how shameless they are, they lost outrightly, totally in everything. When we knew Beforehand, that is going to happen. We told them they never believed. The London boy came on board. And they said the London boy is the solution. And they deceived them and told them that the whole nation is support of the London boy. They are going to vote for him. They are going to push him forward. Oh, it is your turn. And we were watching. We knew that it was all a game. It was all a game. And before their own very eyes, even with all their maneuvering and everything, the London boy got the vote but was he given he wasn't given he was denied denied outrightly the rigging was so open so open that they are telling you you can't do anything and not only that they rig they rigged you out of everything called politics after of all the political posts you were rigged out of it you were rigged out of it shamelessly and yet you are still waiting for us to beg you to stand up and fight for your right. Mazen Nan, they cannot make the move to give you a name, to make you have the confidence to speak in public, but you rejected it. Instead of embracing that opportunity that was given to you by Mazen Nan, they cannot, you throw it away. Our Prime Minister today came also to give you another opportunity to make a name for yourself, to earn respect to yourself. You refused it. Instead, what did you do? On the time of Mazen Nan, they cannot, Instead of embracing what Mazen Nandekano gave you to work with it and end respect for yourself, you proscribed IPOB. The same people Mazen Nandekano was fighting for came together. The governors came together and proscribed IPOB. Called their own children terrorists. And that was the time they opened the gate of hell and sold down the soul of their own children. And from henceforth to the date, their friends are losing their children on daily basis in good numbers because of what the politicians did. What offense did IPOB commit? They were asking for a referendum. They didn't have any arms with them. They were demanding for their rights. Self-determination, which is a right, an international right. African chartered law supports it. Nigerian law itself supports self-determination. But because of this request, you proscribe your own children in order to pay allegiance to the North because of your presidency. Where are you today? The same people you gave your own children to murder. They preserve their own terrorists. Their own children that are pronounced terrorists that the whole world recognizes as terrorists. Number fourth deadliest terrorists in the world. Owned by these Fulanis, yet they protect them. They protect them. Those that have been captured, they free them. They gave them amnesty. They didn't only free them, they introduced them to the military and placed them on salaries. It is happening before your own very eyes. What did you do? Nothing. But you are still busy. Demonizing their own children. Destroying your own. As if that wasn't enough. You went ahead to sell your own son that is fighting for you. Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano gave up everything because of you and I. He gave up his career. He gave up his parents. Gave up his family. Today, he is in solitary confinement because of you. You came together and you sold out Mazen Nandekano. Every single governor or politician in Biafra land has a hand in the kidnap of Mazen Nandekano. They were all aware. 
as if they kidnapped him and Chukwu came and protected him, they were not able to take up take his life. Chukwu protected him, they were not able to take his life. He came back. Even in their own court, in the court of the enemy, Mazen Nanika defeated them. After he had defeated them, still these people who are supposed to represent him, his own brothers, who he is fighting for, refuse to ask for his freedom, even when he has defeated the government in their court. Mazen Nandekan defeated the enemy in the court. He was granted freedom. And the court said, let him go. Three judges unanimously said, let him go. Three courts gave order to free Mazen Nandekan. And yet, it was not obeyed. And all the governors in the southeastern politicians kept silent. They kept mute. They kept mute. They didn't do anything. Some of them were even saying boldly that he has to be held until they finish their election. Because they were looking for vice president. Because they were looking for one post or they were looking for senior president. Today, every single post that made them to betray Mazen Danikan eludes them. They never got the presidency. They never got the vice president. They never got the senior president. And nothing. They never got. What did they get? They only got ADC security. What an insult. A vice president of the north came out. Shitima. The head of Boko Haram came out and said that he is using an Igbo man as a security guard. He announced it. That the only position that is suits to a Biafran, Igbo Biafran, is a security guard. What an insult. And an Igbo man accepted a security guard to a ginger weed. And the idiot stood up when he was called as a security guard. He told him to stand up and he stood up. To show himself as a security guard to a ginger weed. That is the only position that is suitable for the Igbo Biafrans. What a shame. The insult is so much that if you are human and you have blood flowing in your vein, you should say enough is enough. And I tell you, this Heroes Day celebration is a great one. Is a great one. Is a, a, it's a remembrance none like it. I don't think we have had any remembrance like this very one. With the events that happened before this Heroes Day, with all the events that happened before this Heroes Day remembrance, 